It's no secret that Donald Trump is a cheater. I mean, he's cheated on every wife he's ever had. His father helped him cheat to get him out of the Vietnam war. He's cheated in his businesses, possibly cheated on his taxes. He cheated to get loans from banks. So it's really no surprise that a new book that's coming out says that Donald Trump is in fact the world's biggest cheat at his favorite pastime, golf. <laughs> the new book, Commander and Cheat, How Golf Explains Trump by Rick Riley, who uh, used to be a Sports Illustrated columnist, now he's a author here. Riley has actually golfed with Donald Trump and he witnessed this firsthand. And then Riley also spoke to many other people who have golfed with Donald Trump and they all described similar scenarios of Trump cheating. One of those people happens to be Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> it's Samuel L. Jackson. Here's what he says. He says, we clearly saw him hook a ball into a lake at Trump National in Bedminster, New Jersey. And his caddy told him he found it. Not in the water though. Same thing happened with Oscar De La Hoya, with Alice Cooper, and with LG, uh, LPGA player Suzanne Pedersen. They all said the same thing. Trump would hit a ball, it would either go into a bunker, go into the water, caddy would run ahead, and they'd come out and suddenly they'd all make their way down there and oh, the ball's in the middle of the fairway. Wow, we, we thought we heard and saw a splash, but I guess not. So according to these people, all of these people, Trump would have his caddy go and move the ball to a more desirable spot or just drop a new ball. There's another story of Donald Trump hit the ball. It went into the water, but he turned around and nobody was looking. So he just put another ball down as if he hadn't hit it yet, hits that one. And it also went into the water because apparently Donald Trump is a really crappy golfer, even though he loves the game. And there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is that you're a dirty cheater. There's also another story uh, where Trump was golfing with uh, Mike Tirico, who was a former ESPN football announcer. Tirico hits a beautiful shot right down there, 10 feet from the hole. Trump's caddy and Trump make their way down there. And according to the caddy, Donald Trump picked up the ball and threw it in a bunker. So instead of being about 10 feet away, he's now 50 feet away and in a sand trap. That's the kind of cheater that Donald Trump is. So why does this story matter? Donald Trump cheats at golf because Donald Trump cheats at everything. It's a pattern of behavior that he has been using essentially his entire life. That's troubling. This is very troublesome. This is the kind of thing that might seem silly on the surface, but the implications of this are huge. There is nothing Donald Trump won't do to win. There is nothing Donald Trump won't do to show that he is better, even when he is clearly not. Doesn't that sound like the kind of thing we wouldn't want in a sitting president? Don't those kind of sound like the characteristics you want to avoid in somebody who has access to the most powerful country on the planet? And yet here we are sitting here today with one of the biggest cheaters in American history sitting in the Oval Office. That's a pretty scary thought. And it also, based on his history of cheating, kind of makes you wonder how he even got there in the first place. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.